What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we are taking a look at the Microlite 25 FKBS by Flagstaff. What, so this is a consignment. The price will be right here. But this thing I was kind of, I've seen these on the road, never seen one inside. And I didn't know what to kind of expect. Now, I'm kind of impressed for something so small. I, <clears throat> I feel like the quality of the materials that they use on the inside are fantastic the materials obviously it's fiberglass but it just seems very fantastic it's got a solar panel on it it's a 30 amp unit it's got a single ac but let's take a look at it but first i want to thank all my subscribers and if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and hit like subscribe and hit the bell notification but let's jump into this so i haven't really looked at this one a whole whole lot but we're going to kind of we're kind of going to learn together, so let's jump into it, okay? All right. Starting on the front, you have the Microlite logo along with your docking lights. Now, what's really nice about this is your docking lights are right here, so you can turn it off quite easily or turn it back on quite easily. It is fiberglass. You do have a front window as well, which is nice to have. Right in front, you can see your battery. This is a dual battery case or an extra large single battery, depends. And then you have two propane tanks, not sure how big they are underneath all that, we will look it up. And then we do have a front tongue jack lit up as well. And then your ball size is gonna be two and five sixteenths. And then let's see here. Coming around, you have your stabilizer jacks, they are manual, just get you a drill and a bit and they turn into electric, so that's super nice. Coming over here, we do have a, I'm guessing a six gallon, yeah, six gallon hot water heater, which is nice, and it does come with your, um, what are they called, dirt dauber screens, and it does say that it is wired for solar and solar on the side, so you have solar on top, I've already looked up there, and then solar on the side is right here. Here we are. It kind of blended in. So you have a place to plug in the solar panel right there as well. Coming up. Now I love this awning. This awning basically covers the majority of the entire RV. This might be like an 18 foot awning. Uh, it covers up both of your doors. Both doors do have windows in it, which is very nice. And then you do have, I guess a preparation light is what I would call this something at night and I, again i think they use those colors just so you're not getting a whole lot of bugs from it so and then coming down here you have so this is going to be your tank fill so this is going to be your fresh water tank and then just going up from there you have these are going to be frameless windows which is really nice and then you do have speakers as well right here and right here as well so that's pretty nice you have a step above for mo ride steps, two sets. Typically you get like, you know, one of those ones that fold up into the RV kind of underneath, but this one actually has two different sets of the step aboves, which is very, very nice to have. And then what I do like about this also is how they label the RV itself. It also says front kitchen. So you don't have to argue, try to figure out what the FK stands for. And then coming down, let's see here. Looks like a suburban furnace. And you over here, you do have a place to hook up a grill. Same for back here. It just really depends on where you want to hook up. I believe this is more used for the actual cooking area because you do have a place to mount a TV right there. And you have your TV hook up there and a plug right there as well. Your tire sizes, you got 205, 75 R14s coming on down. You have LED lights all the way around, which is always very nice. And this one does have a ladder going up to the very top so you can maintain your roof. And he included his little carry thing. And then you also have uh, like a tool case or whatever you need it for it's completely empty but it, and then he also opted in to upgrade his tire carrier to a hard 
case so it's really nice and then of course you have a big back window with the frameless as well and then you have your backup camera pre-wire I like this RV this RV is very very nice so coming on back in the back slide you have a storage area which I believe is just under the bed it's aluminum framed as well this is the original tire uh, cover and so he took that off and put the uh, hard cover and then it's an unopened box for the grill and then you have your power cord and a few other little here's and there so it's nice it doesn't look like they used a whole lot of this stuff and what I understand is they really only used it about five times coming on down you do have all your hookups so you're gonna have let's see here we have a tank flush you have your city water connection and then you have your antifreeze inlet and then it's a 15 amp or 30 amp uh, coach and then right here is like a maintenance bay you have motors you have pumps you have a place to put your water filter and it does have filters it's in a storage a, a little bit further down and you have your outdoor shower just give you a good look at that coming on down big beautiful window again I love these frameless windows they look fantastic and then in here there there's a I don't know if it comes with all three but at least two of them of your water filters and then this is super tall so if you need to pack something that's really tall yeah this will cover it all right go ahead and close that get a good side view so far and then coming in you have another little storage area and this actually goes into the RV itself this is going to be a drawer or a, a cabinet and we'll take a look from the inside and then let's see what else we can figure out so the tires are rated as a D uh, the GVWR is 7,880 pounds. What else do we have here? Cargo carrying capacity is all in kilograms, so 624 kilograms. Usually we have that in pounds as well, but I don't see that here. Uh, the full dry weight is 5,964 pounds. All right. So that pretty much covers the entire outside. Let's take a look on the inside. One thing I like about these doors is they have those resistant hinges so they don't just swing around with the wind. And then both doors will also have hookups so that you aren't gonna have to worry about the door slamming shut. And of course you can always leave that like that and then close your screen doors and you're good to go. That's really nice to have. None of the screen doors are torn or ripped. I don't think the previous owner had a pet at all. And then one thing I didn't even notice is you have little lights right here. Probably to help you see the stairs. Very nice. Let's see if the back one has a light as well. Nope, just on the front. All right. All right. So we have three steps on the stairs. And then the fourth step is going to take you inside the RV. All right, let's do a quick look around. Very beautiful. Bathroom area. Huge bedroom area. all right let's go through this thing we're going to start in the very front so i'm guessing this is the one that goes into the storage area there you go so whatever you put down there you can get to it from the outside not really sure what that's for but i mean that could be convenient for some people and then you have storage above that as well yeah lots and lots of storage you have storage all the way across the top and then you do have a little bit of storage right here as well. And then coming down, you have your two front windows. 
On each side, you have your inverter powered 110 plugs. So you can see right there. And then you have two USB A plugs. And it looks like your inverter control is right here. So you can turn it on and off. So it's turned on currently. And then you have a matte black faucet along with a dual basin stainless steel sink. Very nice. With covers as well. And then below that, it looks like we have a little bit of storage along with a little bit of plumbing. And then right here, we do have drawers. And then coming around, we have, I believe something that's supposed to hold like pans, something a little bit larger than normal. And then right above it, you have a Magic Chef stove. It does light up. However, it does not show any special color if you accidentally turn it on. And then of course you can flip it down and get the oven. Okay, so you can't have both on. You can have the stove and then you can have the oven. That's interesting. And then coming up from there, we have a Greystone LED lit vent cover with a fan. Let's see how loud that gets. Sounds like a little jet taken off with a little whistle. <laughs> it was pretty interesting. And then coming up, you have a Magic Chef traditional microwave with a turntable. Not bad, not bad. Coming on around, we have a place. I laughed at this when I first opened it up because, I mean, I know these will come out and you can move them around and stuff, but you can take them out if you do want to use your, your hanging hooks. But I thought it was funny. I was like, oh, you got to hang the smallest little jackets ever. But yeah, you can take these out and actually use it to hang jackets. I do like the depth, so you can actually store stuff in here. I'd rather use it for storage than hanging stuff. So this is really nice. And then coming on around, we have our entertainment center. I'm amazed I didn't turn this on. Oh, it's down here. There we go. So you can see the heat comes out right on the side, so you're not going to have heat on the floors. And then you have your fireplace. Of course, you can run it with ambiance without any heat, which right now it's putting out heat, which I'm thankful for. And then you have two speakers on each side. You have a Furion stereo uh, head in the center. You have a place to plug in, and of course you have an Insignia TV right there as well. So that's pretty nice. And then coming up, actually, since I'm already kind of looking up, you've got a Coleman mock air conditioning that is vented all through the RV as well. It's very nice and convenient. You can see the vents all the way through. Oh, and it's a barrel shaped uh, roof. I didn't even notice that. I'm so short that it doesn't affect me, but it gives you a little bit more space. It's not a heavy barrel. It's just kind of a, a subtle barrel shape just to give you a little bit more headspace. And then what's really cool is there is a, that actually comes with it. That's interesting. That's your uh, a bookshelf. And then you do have Millersburg collection seats. I like these a lot because they have right here, this is gonna actually be like a lumbar support. So if you have a bad lower back or something like that, that's actually really nice to have. All right, let's go to the bathroom. Coming in, you have a vent fan here. You have a lot of little nooks in here to put stuff, which I really like. And of course you have a mirror and then you have more space to store things behind it. You have an acrylic sink along with a brushed aluminum faucet design. You have a little place to put your scrub brushes and things. You also have a plug right next to it, which is nice and a little bit of storage underneath. Oh, you got a heater right here as well. So they're keeping all the heat off the floors. That's really nice to have. And then of course you have a quarter shower. Oh man, these magnets are strong. There we go. All right. And then you do have a little bit of headroom in here as well. And these are cool. You can see it's blue right now. It turned red as it gets hot. So that's really nice to have. 
I like this a lot. And this magnet is something strong. Yeah, it just sucks into each other. That's really nice. And then back here, you have a porcelain toilet. And then behind it, you have perfect place for linings. Lenins? Lenins, not lenings. I don't even know what lenings are. It sounds like an animal. There we go. Place to hang a towel. And then, of course, your light switch over here. And then you have a sliding door to... That's actually a quite large sliding door from the bedroom to kind of separate the space. That's really nice. Uh, you even have a speaker all the way back here. So if there's some music going from the front, you can play it all the way through the RV itself. That's really cool. And then you have your light switch over here along with your solar controller, which is nice to have. And then down there is your going to be your fuse panel. And then you got another heat vent right there. Coming on the other side of the door, down there is a 110 plug. And then on the other side, you have a 110 plug and dual USB-A plugs. And I really dig these uh, little lights. They're like reading lights. I don't know how bright they are, but on top of them, let me see here. You can see a little place to plug in a phone. I thought that was cool. And then you have storage above it. There's plenty of walking space for somebody my size, not a small person. So and then let's see what's underneath. Oh, there's a handle. Okay, so you can see the outside area. And then this is all aluminum framed. That's really nice. And then you can actually get to this area with just your drawers. That's really nice too. I like the handle to pull it up and push it down. It's a lot easier than just pushing on the wood itself. And of course that's on a slide, so it's east to west. So that's really nice. And then coming down here, we have a couple of drawers and an opening right here. Let's see how big, what this is. Okay. Oh, that's nice and deep. So you can definitely have some folded clothes right there. Very nice to have. And I like these hanger styles. I do like that a lot. Keeps them from moving around a whole lot. And then you got a remote for your TV, which you do have an LG TV over here. And then you have all the hookups above it. So it's already installed in everything. I like this a lot. Like everything about this exudes like quality. I really enjoy it. Now there's a vent area, but it's not hooked up yet. So you'd need to install a fan. But I love this a lot, actually. You have windows everywhere. And then, of course, let's go back in here. So lots of space. Very nice. All right, guys, we're going to go over the specs right now. All right, let's go over the specs. So the length of this RV is 25.92 feet. The width is 8 feet and the height is 10.92 feet. The dry weight is 6,033 pounds. The payload capacity is 1,777 pounds and the hitch weight is 810 pounds. You have one fresh water tank, which is 54 gallons, one gray water tank, which is 60 gallons and one black water tank, which is 30 gallons. You have two propane tanks. Each of them are 30 pounds. So it gives you a combined total of 60 pounds. You have a 19 foot awning. I figured 18. So, hey, I was pretty close. This RV can sleep four people pretty comfortably. Your air conditioning is 13,500 BTUs and your heater is 35,000 BTUs with a six gallon hot water tank. And that pretty much covers everything. Back to me. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell notification. And until next time, bye. I was going to say peace. Bye, peace.